So how does it work when you want clients to upload files to your Google Drive without taking storage from their account? Is there any plan that helps with this? Thank you. Well, that's an interesting question because if you are the owner of a folder, whether it's in your My Drive or if it is inside your shared drives, anybody else adding files or folders to that folder are not going to actually count towards your quota. Well, let me put it this way. There's actually two answers to that. So you've got two options anytime you're storing things inside of Google Drive. So let's go ahead and create like a Google Drive. I'm just going to call that Google Drive and then I'm going to call that shared drive. They're the two main ones that we've got. Okay, cool. So inside my Google Drive, if I create the folder, right? Let's say Peter Moriarty is the owner of this folder, right? And I share that folder with somebody else. Say I share that folder with Bob there. Anytime Bob puts a file into that folder, it's actually still Bob's file. <laughs> So the file's gonna sit, the file's gonna sit inside the folder there. So Bob's gonna start putting files in here. But they're actually gonna be Bob's files. And that's really weird what that actually looks like. So Bob creates a file, Bob is the owner of that file. So whose storage is that gonna count towards? Well, let's say Bob adds one gigabyte of files into my folder inside my drive. Bob is gonna be the owner of those files. So Bob's storage is what gets counted on those files. Now, when we create a shared drive, it's actually not Peter Moriarty's shared drive. It's IT Genius's shared drive. And so let's say we have Bob here, and maybe we have Peter there, and we have Sarah here, and they start putting files into the shared drive. Now what happens for those people is IT Genius becomes the owner of the files. And so if they put one gigabyte of files in there, then that will count towards IT Genius's storage. Now there's a big risk when you actually share files from my drive outside your company. And that big risk is you don't control those files because you're never actually the owner of those files. And so when somebody places a file into, or a folder even, into one of your shared drives from your My Drive, a folder in your My Drive, that is gonna actually still be owned by someone else and they can delete that at any point in time. And what happens often is someone will be, you know, maybe a virtual assistant or they're a contractor or someone who's outside your business or maybe you started your business and you didn't set up Google Workspace properly and, you know, people are still using their Gmail accounts inside your business and they put files into that folder and you own the folder, but you don't own the files inside the folder. Well, what can end up happening is that person deletes those files. Maybe one day they're doing a bit of a cleanup in their Google Drive and they think they're doing the right thing by helping you out and cleaning things up and then poof, all of those files magically disappear from your Google My Drive because you were never the owner of those files. The solution is to use your shared drives. Shared drives is what we want. Shared drives is the future. Always, 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 always shared drives. Because anytime someone drops a folder or a file into a shared drive, it's automatically gonna be owned by the business. The business then becomes the owner of that file. And when the business is the owner of that file, the other person doesn't have the ability to delete that file or remove it from the shared drive unless you give them permission. But you know, shared drives, much, much better way of doing things. And I hope that has been helpful for you. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.